Hello, welcome back. I know it's been a while. I've been writing a lot online. So if you want to check out my latest articles on swimming, and they're more in depth than these YouTube videos, please check out 7dayswim.co slash blog. I can talk a lot more in detail in written format. So if you are still struggling with these areas of your swimming, then please do check out these articles that I personally wrote for you guys, okay? So 7dayswim.co slash blog. Now, I'm gonna talk about this uh, topic that I don't think anybody has ever covered on YouTube. And that topic is wearing band-aids to the pool. So you probably noticed by now that I'm wearing something on my arms. I'm gonna get into this, okay? Now, here's the thing, okay? If you've been swimming for quite a long time, like I have, like many, many years, you'll know that when you swim in a public pool, you're gonna come across floating band-aids. It, ha it just happens. You know, you're, just, you're doing your front crawl, you're doing your laps, and then you see like band-aids floating past you, or band-aids at the bottom of the pool, and it's usually band-aids belonging to children, mostly. But there are times adults that wear band-aids as well. But you, you'll notice that they're for children because there, there's cartoons on these band-aids that, that just give it away. If you are a parent and your child has a band-aid on, or if you yourself have band-aids covering your body and you decide to swim, my suggestion is to not wear them to the pool. As I've done it myself, all right? I've had cuts and bruises and all that. And I've worn band-aids to the pool and they instantly fly off when I enter the water. And it doesn't matter if they're labeled waterproof, they just eventually fly off, okay? The, the adhesion on these band-aids are just not tough enough to withstand, you know, someone like myself or yourself swimming, okay? You're, you're incorporating speed at the same time. When you're diving into the water, you're going at certain speeds, you're pulling, you're, you're putting resistance onto that band-aid, more friction. And it's just giving it more reason for that band-aid to fly off your arm, or your leg, or your toes, your fingers. I, you know, as a lifeguard myself, I've seen the pools littered at the end of the day with band-aids at the bottom of the pool. It's just disgusting. It's filthy and it needs to stop. And here's my solution. This is the solution right here, what I'm holding right now. This is what you need to get. You don't need to wear any more band-aids to the pool. All you need is this. And I'm going to talk about this. You, you probably know what it is if you're a runner. This is called Kinesio Tape, okay? A uh, very popular brand that you see probably online is called KT Tape, okay? So you see like volleyball players wear this, Olympians wear this, track runners wear this, boxers wear this, and I wear this. And this is what I recommend you wear to the pool if you have cuts or something, lesions or whatever, or your child has band-aids, take those off put this on them, okay? Put this on yourself, okay? You can see me wearing them right now. Now, you're wondering why, Justin, are you wearing kinesio tape around your wrists like this? Well, this is not for swimming, okay? So this is for boxing and Muay Thai, okay? Fun fact, I box and I do Muay Thai. And uh, another fun fact, I also do gymnastics, okay? So being on your hands, you know, throwing punches all the time and being upside down on your hands puts a lot of pressure on your wrists, especially my wrists, especially when you do it every day. And this is why I wear these, okay? And they're fun. You probably wonder, why are they taped so funnily? This is just my style. You've probably seen other ways, traditional ways of wrapping your wrists with uh, kinesio tape, but this is how I do it. Usually, if you're a swimmer, you're going to feel the pain probably around your shoulder area. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna get that swimmer's shoulder when doing front crawl, right? Especially when you're getting back into the swing of things, you haven't done it for a long time, you're gonna feel the pain in your shoulders. I've been there, okay? So what most people are gonna do is they're gonna tape their shoulders using kinesio tape around this area. And I'll, I'll put a link down below that shows you exactly how to do it, okay? I'm not gonna demonstrate that. What I am gonna demonstrate with this is how to cover up cuts and lesions on your child's skin or your skin so that you don't have to wear band-aids to the pool ever again. They are waterproof, okay? What makes them better than band-aids? B12. 
besides being more waterproof, is that they stay on. They stay on like 10 times longer than a Band-Aid. I'm gonna give you a link down below that I got this in. I got a pack of six of these rolls for 30 bucks Canadian. Okay, that's the best deal in town. You don't need to get the, the KT tape. That's like the Nike of Kinesio tape. You don't need to get that particular brand. That's even more expensive. And they charge like, you know, like 30 bucks for like two rolls, but I got 30 bucks, six rolls. Okay, so check out the link below to get that deal. So on the back, you've probably seen this in other videos, there's like the, these grid marks. And these grid marks are like indicators of where to cut the tape. I, I'm gonna tape my knee because uh, uh, I do knees on the bag from Muay Thai and you can see the blood is gushing out every time. So I usually have to wrap my knees. So whatever amount you cut off, add about 25 to 30% more than you're thinking of, okay? So for example, if I, if I cut from here, like two boxes of these things right here, it's gonna stretch. So two boxes of these will stretch to like this much, like add 30% more when you stretch it out, the tape, so it's going to be this long. Cut. Done. Okay, so that's two boxes worth, okay? So it's going to stretch up to from, from here to here on my knee. You got to cut off a piece uh, in order to get a grip, okay? Make a grip. So I'm going to cut I usually cut, uh, you see right here, two little boxes worth. So I'm going to put a sliver right here using my scissors, okay? So I'm going to do that quickly. Okay, so right now you can see the sliver right here. So what you do is you just pull like this, okay? So now you can see. This fiber, this material is very flexible. Okay, so I'm gonna take that piece off. Peel that off. Okay, so this is my, my anchor right here. So this is the anchor point right here. Okay, so, okay. There, boom, anchor point, done. Okay, so the rest is where I'm gonna stretch 30% a little bit more you can stretch it even further. You see, see people in the videos, they stretch it like 50, 60%, and then they lean it back. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do. You need to get that little bit of stretch going. I'm just gonna peel the rest of this. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm gonna stretch it like 50%, 60%, give it a good stretch, and then ease back on the tension, and then slowly wrap around like that okay so you see the little bit of tape left is hanging on the piece of paper that's going to be the the second anchor point okay so go like that like that so two anchor points stretchy area right here and all you do is you just you add some heat friction boom you can go back to kneeing the bag go back to your muay thai session these things will last about a week or so. If, so for example, I train every day, I work out every day, I take two showers every day wearing this stuff. And this stuff stays on, and after a shower, it dries after about 20, 20 minutes, just air drying. If you use a blow dryer, it will dry faster, and it goes back to its, its, its normal form, okay? Yes, it will lose its uh, viscosity over time, so you're gonna have to replace these tapes after a, a week or so if you're if you're an active person like myself okay if you're a swimmer you can wear this to the pool no problem you can swim and dry it off right after no problem it will not fall off it will not fall off i guarantee you. I've, I've worn this to the pool this is magic okay i've never seen anyone else wear kinesio tape to the pool and i think a lot of swim coaches and lifeguards should advocate this instead of band-aids because this will save a lot of sanity think about how much time 
Money is needed to clean pools at the end of the day, sweeping up all these used, soaked up band-aids belonging to other people with infectious blood and all that bacteria just clinging onto it. And it's just gross of you know, me thinking about it, but that's the truth about swimming in a public pool. You have, you're going to come across you know, like squid-like forms of band-aids floating towards you, past you, and near your mouth when you're doing laps, okay? So, get some kinesio tape for your child or yourself. Uh, links are down below where I get my kinesio tape. It's a great deal. And, uh, yeah, let me know uh, what you think about wearing band-aids to the pool. I mean, like, it's, it's pretty gross, but a lot of us don't talk about it. And uh, I think hygiene is very important when it comes to swimming, because I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten sick just from swimming in public pools, because people don't, don't practice proper hygiene. So there you go. Okay, that's my tip for today. Thanks again for watching. My name is Justin. And check out my blog, 7dayswim.co slash blog to get more in-depth information about swimming. Okay, take care. Love you. And bye-bye.